Hey Matt, uh, my wife shared a meme with me. <laughs> it says, if he drinks his whiskey straight, he'll do that thing you like. Damn right. Sean knows that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. It is, dude. That's yeah. right. Oh, that's badass. All right, so what are we doing today? We're going through my top five since we started with the videos. Yes, yes. We're going to go through Jim's top five of what we've had here so far. And yeah. possibly what Jim had when he wasn't here. Well, and so. here's, here's the funny thing about like the way my tastes worked. Like before we started this whole Lysons, uh, Cleveland on the Rocks. Right. This was my experience with bourbon from here right. over. <laughs> <laughs> right? He was like, I'm going with the Knob Creek yeah, right, and I'm right, going right. with the Bullet. Right. And that's where we're at. Because in Cleveland, everyone makes a drink of Bullet. So if yeah. you go there and you're asking for a whiskey... And just no name whiskey, they're gonna give you bullet, and that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. So that's fine. So yeah, that was cool. where my experience was. So right. we started making the videos. You know, I got my tastes a little more advanced. I learned what I, I learned what I'm looking for. I learned what right. I like. Do you want okay. to start at five or you want to start at one? I'm probably gonna start at five. I'm thinking that's what I was thinking you should go yes. at. All right. So, so we're gonna start at bottle number five. five. Okay. So what do you got for five, Jim? So on five, I'm, I went with the good old fashioned bullet. Okay. Here's nice. the reason I went with the good old fashioned bullet bourbon, and it's the red label, the original, because it's versatile. Okay? Yeah. You can make an old fashioned with it. You could throw a couple mm -hmm. ice cubes in it on the rocks, or you could just throw it in a glass and drink it neat. Definitely. Okay. Because you could do, all of us, anyone that's been anywhere around here, I'm pretty sure anyone that's been anywhere has had Bullet. Bullet is, it's yeah. right there. Like, it's fantastic. Yeah. You drink it every day. I have a gallon of it because I'm like, you know what? Like, if anyone wants Bullet, yeah. like, it's well, right there. in a world with Jack Daniels and Jim Beams yeah. and, you know, what else <laughs> am I thinking of? Uh, Southern Comfort. Oh, and you're, okay. Bullet yeah. is right there on par out in the price Actually, of those. Bullet's above all those. It is above <laughs> so all that. You're, okay, so you're well above those. This is here, why so. I felt it deserved a spot in my top five. That is a good one. So. I always make my old, like at home, I always make my old fashions with the good old fashioned bullet, you know. There you go. Okay. So, Jim's number five, Bullet Red. Mm -hmm. Fantastic one. Yeah, it is. So, we're going to go at Always a good choice. Never disappoints. Right. Jim's number four. Knob, good old fashioned Knob Creek. Knob Creek. Gotta love Knob Creek. Okay, so I I was always a Jim Beam fan over Jack Daniels. Yeah. Okay. I will give you that. I like the yeah. Jack Daniels flavored apple, um, cinnamon, uh, Jack Fire. The peach. The peach. The, yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Actually, Jim Beam has the peach. I don't think Jack has a peach yet. No. Jim Beam has a peach. But yeah. the apple, the fire. And the honey, Jack Honey. Jack Honey, that's what I was thinking yes, of. Yes, those yeah, are you're all you're fantastic. But okay. I was like, G, uh, Jim Beam better, and Knob Creek is made at the Beam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like Jim Beam, but the craft version. Yeah, it's like they age it 10 years, you know, I think they're nine years now. This one was t a 10 year, though. The way it used to be was 10 years, and it was 100 proof. I think if you look now, this is an old bottle it we is. had for a while. The new ones are 90 proof, nine years. And you they, know what though? They water it down a little bit. But they, I believe they take the water, run it through the barrel, so you yeah. get the, still well, the taste of still. it, and the water that they pull from it to put it in so there. They're is still doing the a good job, right. but this is an older bottle that we've had for a while. It okay. is. That's been here forever. Yeah. Well, I, I bought a bunch, you know, yeah. and because I like, I loved it. It's a hundred proof. This is the original stuff. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Well, right here what happens? So they only make so much. So if they're forecasting, they're going to sell more. They do is water it down a little bit and make more. So yeah. they'll give you. They'll give Hence you. Hence the reason you have a ninety proof now. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going so. with the hundred. The old stuff, the hundred proof, the ninety proof. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure they That's, run like he said. They run through the. Barrel. I don't even think I've ever had it. The ninety. No, I've only. Yeah, I've, I've never. I don't good. think I've had Knob Creek ninety, but like. Uh, so the reason yeah. this deserved number for this, like I said, this was my original craft mm -hmm. bourbon. Yeah. That I liked. You know, you could make an old fashioned with it as well if you want something a little stronger than the uh, bur than the bullet. You want to yeah. spend a little more, you can do the Knob Creek. Yeah, because it's good too. It is. My wife likes it with lemonade. So right? it's got that clean, there it you covers go. it right up. It's like a whiskey sour. Shana, covers it right up. We're gonna give yeah. you some Knob Creek with some lemonade. Put it lemonade. Sounds fantastic. You'll love, it. You'll love it. It's Jim's number four. We're gonna go at Jim's number three now. What you got? Cooper's Craft. So that was a new one for me. Yeah. Okay. And it's not, it's very inexpensive. It's 30 bucks, I think, for the bottle. Mm -hmm. Around 30 bucks, okay. And it's Cooper's Craft 100, so it is the stronger. They have an 80 proof, I believe. Is it 80 or 85, something like that? They have an 80. Oh, it's 80. Okay. I haven't had it. I haven't had it either. Never had I mean, it. This is the Cooper's Craft. Was it Barrel Reserve? Yeah, Barrel Reserve Cooper's Craft. That's 100 proof. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> so smooth. Straight. You can mix it, whatever you want to do. I tried straight. 
I put ice in it. It got a little sweeter with the ice. Like mm -hmm. it was just not, no matter what I did to it, it tasted good. That one even with the ice doesn't bring out a smoke, so it's fantastic. Right. It kind of kills it down, makes it sweeter. Yes. Like fantastic. It's, yes, it's one of the best I've had. Very clean. Definitely for the so, for the price point, you can't you, you can't, can't beat it. it. If you ever see it at the store and you don't have one. Pick up, pick, it up, craft. pick up Cooper's Craft. Jim's number three, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely worth it. Yep. So your number two, Jim, what you got here? Number two, I went with the Weller 107. Nice. Special Reserve, nice right? Pick. That's a special, or no, Antique That's 107. Antique 107. Yeah. Yeah. Special Reserve is the green bottle. It's yep. it's good as well, but this one beats it out mm -hmm. slightly. Just so why does that one beat it out? What do you like better about this than the Special This reserve? one's cleaner. Okay. Cleaner, and it's stronger. Yes. So the other one's what ninety proof we decided. Yes. The, other, yes. the green one's ninety proof. This one's one hundred seven. Mm -hmm. This one's got a cleaner finish. It's much sweeter. Yeah. Than the other one. Okay. It does. And the sweetness is on par with the Cooper's Crab. I'd say the sweetness is is similar with here, but this one's just a little bit cleaner because it's weed. This one's weeded. Yeah. So you get that little bit of a cleaner. It flavor. is absolutely fantastic. If you see, if you see it, uh, these ones are hard to come by around here in Ohio. It is. You have to watch for when they get their delivery. Some of them will get more boxes than others, and you know they'll post, "Hey, we have this many. Get your ass out there and get one right away." Yeah. And this Jim's one's a little more. Two is fantastic. So that's fifty-five. This one's fifty-five to fifty-six in Ohio. Yeah. So, so it's worth it. it worth is. every penny. It is. But it's a little harder to find. This one you'll find on the shelf. Yeah, Cooper's Cats will be available, so that's that's the, one of the reasons. Like I made sure to get it on the list. It's delicious and is available all the time. And then um, Weller one hundred and seven is a little harder to find, but it's it's absolutely if fantastic. You can find it, as well. if you can find it, it's worth it. It is okay. And the next Definitely. one, I've seen so many posts. People are able to get it all the time, and I'm always so jealous because <laughs> in Ohio you just can't get sell. Like at each store might get like two or three bottles on a Wednesday or Thursday, depending on what the store is. And it's always gone right away. And it's Eagle Rare, made by Buffalo Trace. Yeah. And it is, this is basically the dad of this. Yeah. It is by far the clean. It's 35 bucks for the bottle. Okay, you just got to find it. That's the problem. Eagle, hence the name, Eagle Rare. Right. Okay. It is, it it is. is the most fantastic whiskey I've ever had. Yeah. Okay. I will give you that. I, I this wouldn't even close whiskey. because we finished the other one. Yeah. <laughs> just to let you know that we have tried this. I, I get that it's closed and I understand. But... It, this is our, actually, this is my third bottle of this. We have numerous empty ones yeah. laying around here. I, I love this bottle as well. So it's by far the cleanest, it is. sweetest whiskey that I've ever tried. No. I would never mix that with something. No, there's it's, no it's need to. It's a waste. Like it's, it's a waste. Fantastic. It's a waste. You're going to mix, you go down here. You're, you're, in the, yeah. you're on this side of the, and even the Coopers. I know? would I would mix the Coopers, but we even tried the Coopers with to. the lemonade, and you don't yeah. really need to. Don't it's need like to. not yeah. necessary. I'd stay down here. You know, this is your higher end mixer, this is your lower end mixer. Exactly. Okay. And there's even worse stuff to mix with, but yeah, this is where I would stay with the right. mixing. This is just fantastic by itself. Now, this is this is up to where we are right now, because we haven't obviously gotten a Pappy bottle, which would be yeah. fantastic. Well, we're, we right around, like a, we're right around the 50th video. We're in the 50s on our yeah, video. So it's about 50, like, about, at about 50 videos, Yeah, this is what I've been able to come up with for my yeah. top five. I think you have a very good top five. You have a, you have a perfect bottle that, I mean, we can't find. I Obviously, mm -hmm. I see people all the time, too. They're like, yo, I got this and this and yeah. this, and I have 12 no, bottles of it. I'm like, I've oh, that's seen, great. I'm part of like uh, groups on Facebook, and I see people, they'll post, they have 10 of these, because they and they still show the picture of the shelf, and they're just, they're just there. Or the case. They have the right, case in their the car. It's there. like, are you freaking kidding me? And I had to drive to Michigan three hours to go get this one to replace the one we finished. Like, mm -hmm. come on, man. But, like, and that's cool. But I'll tell you what, like, we haven't gotten to some of the bottles where I'm super thinking they're going to kick stuff out of our top fives yet. And this is Jim's top five, so take a look at these. If you do have the same palette as Jim does from any of our videos and you see what he likes, mm -hmm. this would be where he'd be at for his top mm -hmm. to bottom, and you'll know why. Yeah. So, Well, and you see, if you see, so I went with the original, and these are all bourbons. Right. Okay, I went with the original stuff, no flavored. Like, there's some flavored stuff that's delicious. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to go with our original just bourbon just straight. bourbons no yeah. no flavor involved just bourbons right. that and, you like our top and, five and i i think so we have, we have more to try but i think they're gonna have a hard time kicking anything out of my top five because i have a reason that everything is here I'm gonna, I'm gonna say i have a bottle that'll kick out bullet for you and it'll put that one well it depends on the mixability of it you know well, it doesn't have to be a mix of both. It just has to be like your top. Well, yeah, but, my, I think my, I but my, my sippers are, I got three sippers. You're going to give me another sipper? I don't want to put another sipper in my top five. Why? 
We need see. We need we need a mixer well, one, and we need a right because I look at my top five differently. Like these, like, these, these are what, these are what I want to stock in my bar. That's you know what I mean because I, hey. because I you need to have that lower end stuff to, to mix with. I mean, you can mix special reserve. Yeah, I'm not questioning your top five, and don't think I'm trying to change Jim's top five at all. Because Jim's top five is Jim's top five. My top five will be. I mean, it'll have some of these in it, but it will be completely different. Oh, of course. It tastes and, different. Which is great, because all of us taste something different. Jim likes things that I don't like. I like things that Jim doesn't like, and that's great. And that's why we can actually sit here and have a conversation about it. I think it's fantastic. But I want to thank you for telling us your top five. And any of you guys that have watched all the videos and have seen stuff that Jim likes, now you know what his top one to top five bottle is out of everything we have open here so far. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you now... I'm gonna get something that I kick out as like top bottom one because I feel like I have to now at this know. point. So I'm gonna get something. I don't know, but I'm, I'm a pretty big bullet fan. So we'll right. See. But if you guys are watching out there with us and you're drinking, and I really hope you are, because that'd be fantastic. I don't drink and drive. Call an Uber. Call your mom. Call your sister. Call your wife. Call whoever you want. Just have somebody get you home safe because people like you. They want you oh, to yeah. get home. So oh, yeah. get home and do your thing. And. Please like, share, and subscribe to our video because I'll tell you what, we're going to have so many more videos where you're going to see what Jim likes and you're going to get where his profile comes from and you're going to know why now because you know what his top five are of what we've had. Mm -hmm. And that's great. And you're going to see where my top five are here soon. You'll see where Tony's are soon. And I'm going to start doing top fives. Like I, I feel like we need to do this every like so often as we've yeah. run through so many more bottles because I feel like it's going to change. Let's make another 50 videos and see what we happens. Should. Yes, I feel like we're going to get there. <laughs> So I want to thank all you guys out there for watching. Like, that's fantastic. I really appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time. Yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Dude. That was a good top five, though. I drank Thanks. all of them. That's fantastic.